History informs the present. You know, we come from the oldest living culture on earth. And hopefully with the events that have happened recently, I guess people understand now that we're not going anywhere. We're, we're still here. And so a history that speaks truth will help us to kind of move forward. It is going to be slow and it will be a long process, but um, hopefully we can get to a place where there is some sense of equality. I guess painting to me is a safe space and a way for me to kind of share my experience as a human and hopefully people will be able to kind of engage with someone other than themselves. At uh, art school I, I had questions about the, the history that was taught in schools and uh, what isn't taught and it kind of allowed me to question these iconographies that kind of represent a certain narrative and a certain history and so uh, I created the No Beard Works. We went to the National Portrait Gallery and they just purchased this portrait of Cook by John Weber and I was interested in the, the importance placed on this. It, there was a language, um, the way that they were positioned or um, their stance or how a particular narrative can be shaped. So the shift from the No Beard works to, the, to these new works were, it was a way for me to kind of open up a space by creating a, a certain type of visual language that allowed um, multiple entry points and multiple exit points from an idea. So it was kind of about multiplicity and uh, plurality. So the surface of the works are uh, made up of all these lenses and those lenses are a representation of perception. So, it's through the relationship that each lens has to each other that you are able to see. And it's about how we individually see things, but also how we uh, collectively see something or perceive something. It could be like a family photo, a person or landscape. They have to have something particular that I'm looking for. So it is quite varied. Particular ideas kind of lend themselves to different scale works. The larger works do react differently with light. There's more chance for the viewer to kind of activate this surface. There's never really a, a particular size. It's kind of driven by the image. But some of the most important works to me are often the smallest works. My work has no connection to Western desert painting. It has more of a kind of relationship to gestalt psychology where it's about perception and uh, the law of closure where you know the, there's like a series of dashes that map out a, a circle and when we look at it we perceive it as a complete circle to complete it in a way and uh, through through perception history is made at night in particular is a way for me to kind of represent or use like imagery that was related to different galaxies or cosmologies or different relationships to to light and um, and time and space, so the color rhythms uh, kind of drive the, the work in, in relationship to you know, the expansion of the universe and um, our relationship to it. The mood of the works in Under the Stars for me is really invigorating and exciting. In particular, the navigation chart from the Marshall Islands is, a, is an extremely beautiful object. And I really love how these objects are kind of activated through memory and understanding of this kind of knowledge that is passed down uh, through the generations and it was a, just a different way of seeing or understanding um, your place and they were used as, as uh, tools of navigation way before uh, Cook was sailing out here to Tahiti to chart the transit of Venus. But also it was about underpinning other works that I'd made during that time that were about uh, colonial expansion or imperialism that happened throughout the world to expand empires. I don't really see them as history paintings. I kind of see them as a part of um, the past, present and future. I guess, um, uh, you know, we come from the oldest living culture on earth and, and I think we experience time differently to um, other people. We, we kind of acknowledge these abstract distances between certain points in time and space in, an, in a different way. I hope to be a part of the kind of continuation of that culture or that kind of relationship to a particular place and hopefully they'll be around for people to engage with them uh, well into the future. <laughs>